Alex, there are car dealers like this all across the country. Each dealer has a different stock of cars. So you might want to swing by each and take a look. There so each dealer has a stock of different cars, so obviously that's how you'll get your cars in the game, doing jobs, you'll get cash, credits, whatever, and then you'll purchase you your vehicles like that. Now, let's get you a street ride. Street spec cars are lightly modified rides, built for street racing and tuned for the open road. Most common 510 ride for a reason. Street spec should be your first choice for cross country road trips. Mini. Right, so. Um, car dealer Detroit. Driving test. That's where I am now, so. Let's go. Location to your phone. Can't drive the cars in the cockpit view. Although we did drive on Forza, so. Whoa! That was an online player. You're not planning to race me in that full stock ride, are you? Get over to the tuner and get fitted for street spec. So we're going to the tuner now. Let's go. There we go. Set waypoint. Fast travel shouldn't be allowed in driving sims. in that full stock ride, are you? Get over to the tuner and get fitted for street spec. Area 51? <laughs> That'd be cool, man, if you could do that. Put the cam inside, okay man, just let this cutscene go off and now we'll do that. Uh, the game, it, uh, it's, okay, Alex. it's okay, it's not as uh, hyped as it was. As we all know, you know, all these games get hyped. Destiny, Watch Dogs. Um, so let's have a look now. Ready to improve at a tuner. There is one tuner per region, and you can buy a different spec starter kit from each of them. These kits transform your vehicle for different terrain types. After fitting a spec starter kit, you can buy car parts that are automatically installed on your vehicle. Installing mechanical car parts increases your vehicle's car level. Okay. So obviously you get to choose... Looking obviously this is a starter kit. So obviously you'll be able to mod, do your cars, whatever. Give it a fine tune. Streetcar purchased. This is your collection mode, so obviously there's all your cars, what you'll own. Um, so let's get out of here. There's cockpit view right there for you guys.
Nice neon dash there. You trying to give me the slip? It won't work. Back off, I'm coming. Yo! Whoa. I need to find Zoe, so I need to get this uh Let's have a look where she is. Is that speed skill one? Skill one, there we go. Set waypoint. Let's do this. In Detroit now. No Forza, if you fuck up, you press the rewind button. <laughs> oh shit, miss that. Let's do that again. Obviously they'll be around the maps all over. Challenges. So obviously you earn parts for your cars when you do stuff and that. It, it's on the it is um a, it is a closed beta. I've got set set part to HQ. Uh. Right, so these will be like your things in Watch Dogs. Places of interest, you know what I mean? Blah blah blah. So, I'm going to meet Zoe, wherever she is. So I think if you unlock so many of these places, um, see, there's a player there. Let's go and get him. Or her.
So what do you think guys, look of it, visually, uh, does it look like what you expected? Car wise, looks wise, the play, the car, it does handle nice, uh, let, let, let us know what you think. Ghost. There's a jump right there. I can miss that, then. to call part one part one so there we go just equipped it equip that part to my car let's get off it and it does feel rugged when you get on on like rough terrain you can feel it in the car in your rumble controls it does feel sluggish and uh, you control the rumbles when you're driving on rough terrain like this Drifting. Um, hang on, I've got one of my Xbox Live friends here. He's behind me. What, it says he was here? the map, I mean, it, it only gives you that bit there, but this is the full map. So, that's cool, it gives you the current time. Uh, Horizon 2 is good for drifting. Uh, I'll try and drift on this now. So it's like. Oh! 